Before President Trump met with Turkish President Erdogan at the White House last month, a lot of people weighed in on how he should handle the visit, from national security advisors and members of Congress to newspaper columnists, TV pundits, and Boston Celtics center Anas Cantor, who grew up in Turkey before coming to the U.S. to play basketball. In an op-ed in the Washington Post, Cantor called on Trump to make it clear that U.S. support for Turkey is not unconditional and to, quote, press Erdogan to stop cracking down on his political opposition and end his authoritarian abuses of Turkish citizens. Their abuses Cantor knows well after he started using his platform to criticize what he called Erdogan's dismal human rights record. The regime put out international warrants for his arrest, revoked his passport, making it all but impossible for him to visit his family in Turkey or travel abroad with the Celtics. Ennis Kanner joins me now. It's great to meet you, Ennis. Thank Thanks you so much for being here. For you stated you think you could be arrested, returned to Turkey, possibly even killed right. if you're home. Do you feel safe in this country? You know, I do feel safe. I don't think they will do any kind of operations in America uh, because I have uh, securities around me 24-7. Uh, but, you know, people are asking me that question a lot. There could be a lone wolf, you know. You never know. And so that's why I have to look my back every time I go out. Well, you were harassed two blocks from where I live in Cambridge. Yeah. You were harassed outside the mosque on Prospect Street. It was a very sad day because it happened outside of a mosque with my teammate, and he felt very uncomfortable. So I was like, I tried to calm him down. I was like, you know what? It's okay. They're just going to scream and yell, and we're going to be okay. And it was just it was just very sad for me, because, but I never blame. Boston, I never blame American people. It was all about that two individuals. And you don't worry about President Trump after you see meetings like that agreeing to extradite you? Or? Well, I heard last time I was in D.C., I heard uh, one of the senators' people that actually uh, President Erdogan asked for my extradition to uh, President Trump. And I don't know what President Trump said, but uh, it was, I was very shocked by that. Does that make you nervous? Does it make you nervous? Uh, well, I mean, I don't even have a parking ticket in America. And there are rules and laws, checks and balances in America, so I don't think uh, it will happen. You know, your family uh, back home, <clears throat> I know you haven't talked to or seen some of them. I know your sister was a medical student, right. wasn't able to get a job. Your father signed a statement denouncing yeah. you. What, what did that feel like? I mean, once when I started talking about this conversation, of course, it affected me and my family. And, you know, my dad was a genetic professor. He got fired from his job. So after that, you know, they had to put a statement out there that we are disowning Ennis. I remember going to a practice that day. It was the most, probably awkward and most weirdest day of my life. But, um, you know, since then, I haven't seen or talked to my family. How hard is that? I mean, of course, in the end, those are my mom and dad. You know, a lot of my, a lot of my people are asking me, like, are you crazy? Like, why are you talking about this conversation? It's just, sh excuse my language, shut your mouth, play basketball, make your money, live a happy life. But they don't know what's, there is way big, big bigger than that. You know, I said at the top of the show, you've done the impossible in this country, in this hyper-partisan world. Mm -hmm. You've united Republicans and Democrats mm -hmm. behind the Turkey Human Rights right. Promotion Act. The day after you were most recently in Washington, I think with Senator Wyden and Senator Markey yes. from here, Erdogan was at the White House. Here's a little bit of the exchange between uh, Turkey's president and ours. I just want to thank and congratulate, though, President Erdogan. He's a friend of mine. And I'm glad we didn't have a problem because, frankly, he's a hell of a leader and he's a tough man. He's a strong man and he did the right thing. And I really appreciate it. Obviously not at an exchange. My apologies. What's the impact on people back home who are fighting for human rights like you are? What's the impact of the president of the United States standing up and mm -hmm. praising mm -hmm. that leader? Of course, of course, it's tough. Of course, it's tough. I mean, I wish he didn't say those things about him because I feel like none of it's uh, true. Because, I mean, the, right now there is no freedom of speech, of religion, expression. There's no democracy. Uh, and the, all the you know, Turkish government using this power to abuse human rights violations in Turkey. And so that's why... I don't, I wish he didn't say those things. Is progress being made? Uh, the cleric Gullen, who obviously mm -hmm. has been leading a lot of the opposition, he's in the United States, right. actually, in Pennsylvania, I believe. Is progress being made, or is Erdogan so tightened his control over that country that 
No, there's no threat right. to his power. So let me tell you this. Erdogan uh, polarized the whole, the whole Turkey, and he made groups. And whichever group talked against the government, and he said, those are bad people, those are terrorists. And the Gulen movement was the only group that uh, said, you're doing it wrong. You crop them people. You're, you know, this what you're doing is, you know, against human rights violations. So that's why he picked the Gulen movement as the enemy of the state. And he blamed the coup attempt and the Gulen movements. You know, if you, uh, I know that there was a whole issue when you were in the Knicks about not going to London yes. for fear. Are you going to go with the Celtics to Canada on Christmas? Oof. I mean, that's my job. You know, I'm not a politician or a journalist. In the end, I'm a basketball player. I want to go out there, have fun with my team. And it's, the, it's a blessing to play in a so Christmas gonna go? day. So you're going to go? Are you going to go? I want to go, but uh, I think Celtics in contact with the Canadian government. And, um... I look, there is no extradition deal between Canada and Turkey, so I would love to go for it. You know, one last thing, and then I want to talk basketball with you for a second. You have stood up, uh, I think, as the ambassador just said, with great courage. Uh, the general manager of the Rockets puts out a simple tweet embracing mm -hmm. the democracy protesters in Hong Kong. Adam Silver, Wishy Washy, the commissioner, LeBron James, who's a social justice guy, Wishy Washy. What was your reaction to that? I mean, I mean, people uh, know I'm all about, you know, freedom and, uh, you know, whatever happens, I'm always going to stick up for uh, freedom. So and then so that's why, I'm, you know, uh, I saw I put a tweet out there and I was like, those are these are my struggles. And um, that was it. So can we talk basketball for a couple of, course, of seconds? Please, OK, yes. why not? OK, that's your day job. I am six five. You could be a... No, no, no. Five. You don't even start. I, and, and here's my excuse. Okay. I think it's the nutrition. That's what I think it is. That so is Tom Brady is eating, like, whole grain foods. That's what I heard. And vegetables. And you're eating this. Can we have it, please? Oh, no. Please not. This is actually the biggest treat that I had. <laughs> oh, no. We got burgers, we got sushi, we got pizza, and we got hot dogs. I'm very excited about it. This is probably going to be the craziest cheat day ever. Now, you call that cheat day. Are you kidding me? I mean, look so, at you. How do you do it? Do you eat everything on that counter right there? Oh, almost. 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 <laughs> but you know what? You got to treat your body. I do it once a week. Cheat day, you call cheat it, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I call it cheat day. One day a week? Day. One day a week. You got to do one day a week. I go crazy. There you go. The, all, you see all the do burgers. Do you have to lie down after that and for a couple uh, hours or what? Maybe, uh, maybe all night. Okay. So <laughs> here's my analysis. That even though you think it's okay... It occasionally causes problems for you. You're a real. I've watched you play for years. You're okay. really talented, but you have one big hole in your skill set. Do you mind my saying that? Go ahead, please. Okay, it's this. It's this right here. It'll oh, show it no. to you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> you can dunk. I can't dunk. <laughs> Now, that's the attorney general. So she used to be a pro basketball player. Yes. She's five foot. You can look at me when I'm telling you. I don't want to look at you. She's five foot three <laughs> inches tall, Ennis. You're 6'11". You play for the Celtics, I heard. Is I that do. true? I think You're so. an NBA player. Yeah. <laughs> She's been the attorney general. She's doing this. At, what is I up with that? I swear, I worked on a whole summer. There is just something about that spinning the ball in your foot. I just can't do it. Yeah. And she said, let me teach it to you. I was so embarrassed. I'm like, okay. And she was just like, you know, you watch the Harlem uh, Glow Trials, right? Oh, of right? course. So they they, they, they spin the ball, you get the ball on a kid's finger. I was like, I felt that way. Yeah, she. I heard she could really. When she was a kid, oh, she's good. She could really. Oh yeah, play. she could hoop. Yeah. She, she 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 loves the game. Yeah. She loves the game. She said she could so dunk over you. Is that true? Uh, no, not that much. Right <laughs> okay, so here, I don't want you to feel too bad. By the way, yesterday the attorney general was on my radio show, oh. and I mentioned you were going to be here tonight. So she sent you a short message after oh, that. Here's the attorney awesome. general. Here she is. Hey, Ennis, it's Mora. Hope you've been practicing. Have you been so practicing? Amazing. Are you ready for her at some point? Or I'm no? actually practicing, but I still couldn't do it. You still couldn't I, do it. I, I'm, I, I'm actually doing it literally during the practice. When coach was talking, I'm trying to spin the ball with my finger. It's just not working. And a cheeseburger in your other hand, right? <laughs> and as can I echo what the ambassador said, uh, I think I speak for everybody watching. We admire your courage. I appreciate it. Means and a lot, uh, we appreciate your fight. It's a pleasure Thank you to meet so you. Much, sir. I appreciate Anna's it. Canter, great I player, know, great human. For more information on his campaign to raise awareness of human rights violations in Turkey, head to youaremyhope.org. And if you want to see him in action, you can find all the upcoming games at nba.com slash Celtics.